This is Mr. White again. Mr. Rops, back at you. We are going to run through this problem real quick. Um, first, well, what should we do, Mr. Rops? Well, we have a circle there that's going from 5 to 8, only part of it. So we need a, if our radius is going from the x-axis to the edge of the circle, that's a function f of x. We need to put it in terms of, like a function kind of notation, yeah. or in terms of y. This is actually like an implicit form. X's and Y's are on the same side. So yeah, just like you said, we need we need Y equals. All right, so let's move the X squared over. Take this and then... Take the square root. Take the square root. So move this over. We get Y squared equals 64 minus X squared. Right. And then Y equals plus and minus uh -oh. 64. Which one am I going to need to use if I'm going to be on the uh, plus and minus? Well, the minus will give us this one. All right, so we'll use well, the Well, actually, it'll then. give us this whole thing. And then the plus is giving us this. All right. Sort of. So <laughs> nice we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that minus there. So we'll take the pi. Right, because it's a circle we're doing. We want to we wanna rotate it. So it's going to be basically a bowl. And if we did the whole thing, it'd be, a, it'd be like a ball right. a sphere. So from 5 to 8. Mm -hmm. And this function right here is this piece with the positive right. so that's so pi r this is r squared pi r squared same thing every time love it so this is kind of nice you'll see this example sort of come up a lot because of the square root and the squareds they like to do that because it makes it much easier okay so those go away right. integrate it so keep the pi up front pi 64x minus one third x cubed. Okay, you got a funny looking 64x. 64, ah, 64, oh, good, good. Six, 64, 64. From? 5 to 8. 5 to 8. Okay, so let's plug in 8. So pi, 64 times 8. 5, 12. 5, 12. 5, 1, 2, minus 8 cubed, divide 3. What's that? That gives me 5, 12 over 3. Uh, 5, 12 over 3, of course. Minus 64 times 5. Wait. That gives 320. 3, 2, 0, minus... 5 cubed is 125 over 3. 125 over 3. Okay. So, uh, it's getting messy. Maybe Mr. Rops will just put this whole thing in the calculator for us. All right. Well, I did the, the first one this first. So, 512 minus 320, I did. And then I was going to do the fractions after that. Oh, that's a good idea. 512 minus 320 is 192. 192. And then that's a minus, and then so it'll end up being a plus. So that's zero. Oh, but it's 512. Oh, 512 and 125. Jeez. So, uh, so they get negative 129. Exactly. 129. 192 and 129. There's a lot of. 63. 63 pi? You betcha. There you go. There's your other oh, example. Hold on. Got your units, Mr. White. Oh no, I'm not done. Oh, okay. Hence, oh nice. 63 pi units cubed. See? Oh, perfect. Nice, because we can just throw them on the end. It's nice though. If you 